Hey, what's up, John Shred here. If you have a QNAP that has the four red lights on it and it will now not boot, I will help you fix that today. What do you need to get this done? Literally two parts, five bucks each off Amazon, a 100 ohm quarter watt resistor. I got like a 10 back for five bucks. And then jumper pins. Uh, if you have two jumper pins, uh, just from an old motherboard or kicking around that you don't need to buy these uh, they work fine this is a no solder solution i thought about soldering it myself but I i'm not great so I, I figured this is a little bit more approachable so i hope this helps if you saw my recent video here just a little quick reel of 60 seconds replacing the system fan on this guy you can uh, you'll see how easy it is to take it apart there's literally just four screws on the back uh, and the case pops off but first let's pop out all of the drives and put them aside All right, next, four screws. Flip it onto the motherboard side. And then slide, there you go, back and then off. Cool, tops off. Looks like there's four screws on each side. So just to be clear, there's kind of four screws. You wanna take out the smaller set here. Not, not these ones here, but the, the smaller set and it's on the same on both sides. And then there's like two more here just on top of the system fan. Pop those out and it should just come right off. Okay. Comes out, full back plate. Comes out of a tiny little PCIe kind of slot. You can see whatever right here. It should give us pretty much full access to the motherboard. All right, so I thought it was this set of, a set of pins here, but it's actually, after looking at a diagram online, thank you to everyone on the QNAP uh, forums for, for putting pictures. I would not have been able to do this uh, without that. So kudos, I will put a link to that as well. Along with, if you want to learn more about why this is happening and all the kind of electrical parts and how this will help essentially extend the life of your QNAP, uh, I'll, I'll put a YouTube link to it. Anyway, the pins are actually underneath this bracket here, so I do need to take the bracket out and essentially take the full motherboard out. So I'm going to continue to remove those uh, original screws and see if I can get the motherboard out. Ha! Okay, so once you take those those four screws out on, on the edge here, you can lift up from the backside and everything does slide out. I still need to disconnect the motherboard from the chassis here somehow, but it looks like I'll need to take out the system fan. System fan's super easy. There's literally four screws on the back here and one and one plug. Cool, system fan, four pin connector, and just pull, comes right out. Easy peasy, there's that Noctua fan that I installed uh, in my short. Okay, four screws, one in each corner. Okay. And the motherboard slides out. You can see the uh, two sticks of DDR3, what are they? They're two four gig sticks upgraded to eight, eight gigs of RAM. Uh, this this ripped jaw here, so that's great. So now I can see that it's actually underneath this, this pin here. This is the set of pins and you can tell it's the right one because it has nine pins where the other one has eight. Okay. I readjusted the camera so that this this side here camera can it can see really nice and close here. What's important is that we know which pins to connect it to. It actually goes pin one through nine, and it's actually pin one and eight that we want to use. Uh, if this here is one on this corner, then it goes two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's actually the the last pin before it has the the blank. So it should be beside the blank. Here's uh, one of the, oh there you go, yeah. You can see the resistor. Like I say, it's 100 ohm. They had a quarter watt and a half watt. I just looked through, I didn't know the difference between the two. I looked through the comments. Someone else on Amazon had said that they used the quarter watt to fix this exact problem. So I went with quarter watt. So the idea with the jumper pins is that one side will go over the actual pin here and then the other side, you'll put in a leg of this inside, which will connect them connect them together. So let's say I put this in like that. I don't know if you can see that, really nice and tight. And then the other side will go on here. Ta-da, that's pretty much it. I'm going to shorten it uh, so it goes like this. 
and then you put the other one on the other side. Uh, just due to that height, I'm going to clip it uh, so it fits uh, so it fits better. So this is there and there. So I actually use it, and I kind of filled this gap here. Uh, you can spin it if you want, kind of like that, so it stands out. I'm going to use just a pair of pliers just to clip this so it's shorter. So regarding height, just see how short I made it? You can just see it almost touching the top here. So that's, that's how short you need to make it, just to make it so that it has enough clearance to fit under this, this bracket. And then I just need to slide it in the one side of the jumper and the other side of the jumper. And that's it. One end is on the pin and the other is in the resistor peg. And then on that eighth pin and it's in there snug enough. I feel like they're connected uh, and it looks like it's low enough. So that when I put everything back together, it should be, should be, should be fine. Okay, I've reconnected the top down shot. You can see here uh, where it, it's together. If you did want to solder this, same idea. Just, I mean, literally just solder those two points together. Uh, of course, without touching any of the other pins. Yeah, and that is it. Um, we need to reverse the process, put it all back together, and try it out. Okay, let's get some power and see if this works. Here we go. It's actually a good sign because before it would start up automatically as soon as I plugged it in. Let's see. Power. Oh, I'm seeing green lights. I'm seeing green light. I, I'm still amazed. Thank you to everybody, like I said, on the forums and YouTube. How long, this took maybe 10 minutes. Uh, $10, $10 worth of parts. Hopefully you were able to follow along and do the same and extend the life. Like I say, I'm still going to shop for a new one, but I want to figure out how to get the data off here. If you have any recommendations for a QNAP right now, what, uh, what month? It's July 2024. I'm looking for something maybe six bay, a little bigger in the thousand dollars US range. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you did this and it worked for you. Let me know if you have a suggestion on, on a brand new one with the QNAP Synology. Uh, Ugreen has a new unit. Uh, what about a, a Zima Cube? I, I've, been, I've been looking at all of them. Please let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.